Hello and welcome back to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, Senior Trainer and Support here at Digital Drafting Systems. In today's blog, we will be looking at how the Layer Translator works in AutoCAD. Some of the things that you are able to do with the Layer Translator in order to get your Revit to CAD or files coming from another office with different standards to match yours are you can change the layer name, layer color, transparencies, just to name a few. Although Revit does have an object type to CAD layer translator, we will be concentrating on the AutoCAD side of the process. We will be covering the Revit to CAD workflows in an up and coming blog. Shall we get started? Let's get to it. I would like to take this time to state that this blog is intended as a possible workflow for, your, for you to use as a basis for you to create your own Revit to CAD or CAD to CAD from two different offices translation file. This is a workflow that you can use, as I said, as a sample for you to create your own. The AutoCAD layer translator can be found in the Manage tab in the CAD standards panel, Layer Translator. What the Layer Translator does is automatically reads the particular file that you're in and gives you all of the layers that are here in this file present. As we can see, they have very odd names considering that we use uh, as close as possible to the AIA short layering uh, naming standard. Also, you will notice that every time you select a different one of these layers that are present here in the translate from section of the dialog box, the items that are actually present in that particular layer are going to be highlighted, such as these. Okay, so what we do now is we need to now Im import a file that contains the layers that we want to translate to. In order to do that, we actually come over here to the load. And in load, we go and find the particular DWS file. Now, the, it doesn't necessarily have to be a DWS file, which is the drawing standards file, basically. It could be a DWG file or a DWT file. In this case, we're doing a previously prepared DWS file, which is this one right here. Once we select it, we say open. And the layers in that particular file are red and uh, actually are going to be uh, presented to you here in the translate to. The first thing that we can actually look at is we have a couple of uh, icon um, buttons here, for example, the map same. What will that do? And that is it will go ahead and translate any particular uh, file uh, layer that is present here with the same name here. It will automatically translate it to, to whatever it is. So, for example, the def points is going to be translated. So, if I say map, it will go ahead and read it from here match it to this one and drop it in here once it's actually been selected from here it disappears from this list so this list will actually start to get very short so let's go ahead and say map same and as you can see def points and layer zero are the two that are going to be translated at this point now translated at this point i'm saying translated because we've selected them and mapped the same what if we have items that are for example these above right here are talking about my layers that have to do with my stairs. Okay, so what do we do to grab these above and go ahead and pass them over to here? Do we actually have that particular A stairs layer, for example? And so if I actually go ahead and navigate through this particular piece here, you will notice that we don't have the layer stairs. How do we actually then go ahead and make sure that these items go into that we go ahead and hit the new button okay and we go ahead and say this is the a dash stairs dash hidden for example 
okay? We can define the particular line type, okay? In this particular case, we don't have it loaded. We will leave it as it is uh, for now. We will leave it as uh, continuous. Okay, we can define the line weight of the layer and we can define the particular color of the layer. Let's go ahead and change this color to, let's say, for example, a, um, let's go ahead and say, for example, uh, a nice magenta. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and translate whatever these are, all of them, into this single particular layer, okay, with a continuous line type, color magenta, transparency being zero, and the actual plot style, plot uh, style is by layer. We are not going to be using the plot style, that would be SCTB to STB, only because uh, we uh, uh, actually try to uh, do as much CTB as possible here. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and say okay to this, and this particular layer, A stairs uh, hidden, is going to be right there. So what we'll do is we'll come in here, select the bottom one, go to the top of the aboves, and with the shift button, select the top. That will give us the actual uh, groupings. What we do then is we go ahead and come over here to translate to. So we're going to select them first here in the translate, translate from, and then we'll go to the translate to. And we look for the A stairs hidden. Okay. And we go ahead and say map. All of these are going to disappear. So we say map. And now all of those have effectively taken out of the translate from because they've already been translated. Okay. Great. The next step would be to continue to actually go ahead and do this process one by one. For the sake of expediency and the fact that this is actually a very tedious and time-consuming process, we've gone ahead and mapped all of the translate from to the translate to. The next step would be for us to go ahead and take a look and see what happened in here. So if we actually expand this a little bit this way, we actually see a nice uh, view of all of the items that are coming in. So, for example, if we come in here, we can go ahead into the dimensions A dim, okay, and we say it's number four, okay. If we go ahead and say edit, it will give us the ability to see what that is, okay. Let's go ahead and cancel that. And we can then, in this fashion, go ahead and start looking at some of the items that we want to go ahead and change. Now, I would like to actually tell you that when you go to edit this, okay, it's everything in that layer is going to be translated, it's going to be actually changed, okay, in this particular one, for example. We'll go ahead and say okay to that. Okay, and let's go ahead and say, for example, for the top rails at the stairs, we don't want the top rails at the stairs to be that color, okay? So we just go ahead and switch the color here, and so on and so forth. So rather than going ahead and going through each and every one of these, let's just remember that you can actually come in and change a, each and every one of these colors to whatever it is that you want to change it to in order to comply with your office standards of the layers. Let's go ahead and say OK to that so we keep those couple of changes. The other thing that I want to point out is the fact that, let's go ahead and shrink this down and bring it back down, that you can save this as, OK, and it will automatically uh, go ahead and save the particular setup of the translations that you have here into either a DWG file or a DWS file, okay? So either way, you can actually go ahead and save them to any, any one of these right here. Let's go ahead and say, say that we're going to uh, uh, cancel this here because there is another place that we can actually do this at. Go ahead and cancel. And it's here that translate. So it, let's go ahead and invoke translate first and see what it gives us. You'll notice that it's giving you the warning, and this is basically what this is. This is a warning telling you that if you go ahead and do this and translate only, you will lose this particular configuration that you've got here, which is uh, time consuming. So we really don't want to do that. What we want to really do is translate and save. 
Okay, that what it's going to do is going to go ahead and invoke all of these and apply them to the drawing, and at the same time, saving this configuration as a separate file. You'll notice that it, it can go as a DWG. I prefer to save it to a DWS, which would be a drawing standard. Go ahead and select DWS, and let's go ahead and place it in a place that we can actually retrieve it from later if we so wish. Let's go ahead and put it right here and say save. And there it is. Okay, so for the next part, we will then continue, or rather the next blog, part two of this blog, we will continue then to start to move into the configuration to the CAT standards. Okay, and for that, we're going to go through a series of processes of changing some hatches, identifying particular items that should be multiple colors, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, for this, this has been Jim Cuervo with Digital Drafting Systems, wishing you a safe and healthy day. Till the next one, thank you for watching.